nine. Space and time. Up against another human being, one's own procedures take on definition. Garion was amazed at himself. He saw heracles just about every day now. The instant of nature forming between them drained every drop from the walls of his life, leaving behind just ghosts wrestling like an old map. He had nothing to say to anyone. He felt loose and shiny. He burned in the presence of his mother. I hardly know you anymore, she said, leaning against the doorway of his room. It had rained suddenly at supper time. Now, sunset was startling drops at the window. Stale peace of old bedtimes filled the room. Love does not make me gentle or kind, thought Garion as he and his mother eyed each other from opposite shores of the light. He was filling his pockets with money, keys, film. She tapped a cigarette on the back of her hand. I put some clean t-shirts on your top drawer this afternoon, she said. Her voice drew a circle around all the years he had spent in this room. Garion glanced down. This one is clean, he said. It's supposed to look this way. The t-shirt was ripped here and there. God loves Lola and Red Rose. Glad she can't see the back, he thought, as he shrugged on his jacket and stuck the camera in the pocket. What time will we be home, she said. Not too late, he answered. A pure, bold longing to be gone filled him. So, Garion, what do you like about this guy, Hercules? Can you tell me? Can I tell you, thought Garion. A thousand things he could not tell flowed over his mind. Heracles knows a lot about art. We have good discussions. She was looking not at him, but past him as she stored the unlit cigarette in her front shirt pocket. How does distance look? Is a simple, direct question. It extends from a spaceless within to the edge of what can be loved. It depends on light. Like that for you? He said, pulling a book of matches out of his jeans as he came towards her. No thanks, dear. She was turning away. I really should quit. Ten. Sex question. Is it a question? I better be getting home. Okay. They continued to sit. They were parked way out on the highway. Cold night smell. Coming in the windows. New moon floating white as a rib cage at the edge of the sky. I guess I'm someone who will never be satisfied, said Heracles. Garon felt all nerves in him move to the surface of his body. What do you mean, satisfied? Just satisfied? I don't know. From far down the freeway came a sound of fish hooks scraping the bottom of the world. You know, satisfied. Garion was thinking hard. Fires twisted through him. He picked his way carefully toward the sex question. Why is it a question? He understood that people need acts of attention from one another. Does it really matter which acts? He was 14. Sex is a way of getting to know someone, Heracles said. He was 16. Hot, unsorted parts of the question were looking up from every crack and Gary on. He beat at them as a nervous laugh escaped him. Heracles looked, suddenly quiet. It's okay, said Heracles. His voice washed, Garion open. Tell me, said Garion, and he intended to ask him, do people who like sex have a question about it too? But the words came out wrong. Is it true you think about sex every day? Heracles' body stiffened. That isn't a question, it's an accusation. Something black and heavy dropped between them like a smell of velvet. Heracles switched on the ignition, and they jumped forward onto the back of the night, not touching, but joined in astonishment as two cuts lie parallel in the same flesh.